hey guys welcome to the first session with uh, connecting with azure with mule so in this session we are going to see uh, what is this data storage and what kind of data storage we have uh, when i'm going to connect with the mule so to create a data storage uh, or the connectivity with the mule how we are going to do that so today in the this video uh, we are going to see that how we can connect with the container which is present over the azure via mule so the first step here is to create a container to create a container the first thing we are supposed to do here is uh, we'll click on this resource group so once you log into your uh, azure account you will see option of uh, resource group once you click on this resource group you'll have option to create one resource group so i have already created let me create another one so we'll click on this create then it will give you some option here so uh, as the subscription is the free trial one so it is giving me the trial option then uh, after this we'll give the resource group name so let's say my group name is uh, mule as your demo once i create this it is asking me for the reason so we have a couple of reason here so we can select any one so as of now let keep it the recommended one then click on this next tag so here uh, it is asking me to apply a tag which will consist some key name so as of now i'm not going to give any uh, tag name for this so we'll go to the next tab and click on review and create so once i do this part it will do the validation process once it is validated will give a green signal once it is done we'll click on the symbol create now again it is validating so here we have created one uh, resource so under this resource we are going to create one uh, container so to create a container go back to the all services click on this storage account and here i have already one storage account so i will go back okay so once we create a resource group we'll go to the storage account we'll click on that so this is the earlier one that i have created and this is the storage name for the earlier now we have created one mule azure demo so we'll click on this storage account we'll click on create once you click on this create it will give you option that uh, the resource group so we have two resource group the first one is this test storage and as second one which we have uh, created just now so we'll select this mule as your demo then it is asking me for the storage account name so let's give a name mule demo so while you're giving this uh, storage account name it should be only in the lower case we are not supposed to pass any special character into that then this is the reason so by default let it be the same then here we have the performance so we have two options here either the standard or the premium one so <clears throat> if you go with the definition part here the premium one will have a very low latency rate whereas the standard one will be the general purpose v2 account it will use so to understand it, it uh, in more detail, I will create a separate video for that. Now come to the redundancy part. Here you will have a multiple option which kind of redundancy you want and each redundancy have some uh, basic info below this. So I will be creating one more video where you can uh, see what is the each and everything means here and which one we should use. So as of now, we'll go with the default one or the suggested one. Let's click on this next and advanced. Then it will come to the security section and in the security section minimum tls version is this permitted scope for this storage account so what kind of uh, scope to perform the operation i'm going to give so as of now i'm giving this any storage account so we have this same as your another so in the separate video will have each and everything information as of now i'm just going to create a, a container uh, storage account actually and in the storage account i'll have container and i will show you that how you can create uh, 
make the connectivity with the mute. So let it as it is. Now here I'm not going to make any changes. Then I will go to the networking part. By default, I will be selecting this public access. For the virtual network, we can do this part. Uh, then we need to configure the what uh, kind of uh, IP address that we are allowing to access this storage account. We'll click on next and will not make any change here and we'll click on this next managed by microsoft or we can have this customer manage so let go with the default one and click on next next now here it will do the validation part once it, is, it got validated we can click on this create okay so it got validated for the configuration that we have given for the storage account then we'll click on this create part and it is creating our storage account So now the deployment part is in progress subscription is the free trial one and the resource scope is this which one we have created <clears throat> so this is the basic info of this particular account that we are creating okay so now our storage account got created then we'll go to the resource now here if you see this is the storage account name that we have given and we are inside the storage account now we'll go to this container section and here we will be creating container so how we are going to create the container that container we will be creating from the um, mule so let's create a new project here Give a name, your as your demo. Click on finish. Okay, so our <coughs> new project got created. So the first thing we are going to do here is uh, we are going to download the connector to the exchange. So we'll write as your. And from here, we are going to uh, download this Azure data lake, uh, data lake storage connector. So click on this add and click on finish. Okay, so this is the data lake one. We are not supposed to use this one. We are, we need to get the Azure storage connector. So let me download that one. Microsoft Azure Storage Connector. Click Next. Finish. So we will be using this Azure Storage Connector, but in the future time when we are going to uh, explore more about the Azure and Mule connectivity, then we will be using this one also. So as of now, we'll use this Azure Storage Connector. So let's create a simple application. We'll have one listener. Give a path so here I'm giving create container. Let me copy this, paste it over here. Click on save. We'll add some logger here to debug our application or to test our application. Start and let me give the same name to the display name. Then in the Azure Storage Connector, we'll use this create connect uh, container component and we'll keep it here and the create container the first thing we need to do is connect a configuration so we click on this now this in the container configuration we have uh, two things uh, account name and account key and the connection is either i can go with the access key as your connection or sas token as your connection so we'll see both the access token 
like how we can connect using both the methods so as of now let's con consider the access key as your connection so to get the account name and account key we'll go back to the uh, we will go back to our azure portal and here in the azure portal you will have option access keys so click on this in the access key this is your storage account name so this is the account name that we have to copy it and paste it over here now in this access key part this connection this string we need to click on this and copy this part once you copy this part paste it over here and just do a test connection So it is out it's testing the connection with the azure portal the container uh, actually it is testing with the credential that i have given to the storage from the storage account so now the test connection is successful you click on ok you click on ok now here i am giving a container name so either i can give the container name directly here or i can get it from the payload so let's say i am going to get it from the payload so payload dot That is what I'm expecting in the request body. And I will click on this save. And at the end, I'm going to put a logger. And here in the message, I will give a message end with payload. Okay. And let me make it end. And let me set payload for our response as well so just give a payload directly instead of doing anything we'll go over here we'll make it json and we'll make it payload so let's uh debug our, our application so add a breakpoint and debug this application go to this and in the meantime let me open the postman as well So this is http colon localhost colon eight one forward slash create container. This is the endpoint that we have given to our uh, mule application. Now in the body section, I am expecting some body, so I will make it draw JSON and here I am giving a container name. So let's say container name colon call to first container and this should be in the inverted comma to make it proper json and method should be post let's go back to this our application is still deploying in the meantime we just let me make sure that the container name okay the spelling is correct i think let me just copy this one so that we will not face any error while creating a container okay so once our application got deployed okay it's deployed now once it's deployed it will give you option that uh, if you see this is successfully connected so let's go to postman and hit our api so let's click on the send I will come over here now here in the <coughs> payload i'm having this container name and the container that i'm going to create having a name first container and if you see uh, what are the things in attribute so it is the default one that we usually get while hitting the api from the postman if you click on next if you click on next okay so the specified resource name contain invalid character okay so why it is saying this invalid character it's because uh, we are not supposed to pass in the camel case so we'll use the lower case only so we'll go over here we'll make it a container and we can give the special character here let's make it just again 
next next okay so now if you see once this operation got performed successfully what are the things that are coming from the uh, create connector uh, create container <clears throat> so in the attribute section we don't have anything and whenever the application or the operation get uh, performed successfully we will be having a boolean response which is true then we'll click on next next and in the console as we have printed the payload so here end with true and the response we have been getting true now let's do a cross check whether that container particular container got created or not so the container name i have given is first container let's go to the azure portal and click on this container so in the data storage section we have these things so container file share queue and table the current video is focusing on this container part and will uh, create a series of uh, tutorial with the uh, with each data storage so click on this container in the container section <coughs> we are having this first container now here if you see we are having some information public access level is private lease state is available and the last modified time like at which time uh, at what time this got created if i click on this i can change this access level also so we have three kind of access level which is private which is private uh, block and container so we will be discussing in the next tutorial uh, or in the next separate session that what kind of access level are these what are the difference between these and uh, which one we should be using so as of now let's just let it be the private and here we have created our first container let's say if i want to create another container so this time what i'm going to do i'm just to second container and uh, this here you will see one another one container more so just let me make sure that my application is running that's yeah, running we'll go back and we'll click on this send so I click on this send we'll click next next okay so this time also we are able to create our container so let me do a cross check just come over here and click on refresh and here is our second container so this is all about in this uh, video uh, that how we can create a container using bar uh, as your connector that we are having in the mule and if i show you what are the connectors we have we have a, a multiple connector here so we have used this create container then we can create directory queue share so each whatever the data storage option uh, we are having on the azure portal so here we have a container file share queue table so each one for to perform operation on each data storage we are having connected and in the upcoming uh, session or the tutorial we will be seeing how we can perform the CRUD operation on each data storage okay. so thanks Thanks for watching this video.